Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Warsaw reporter Mr. Joe Massey. Joe, Eranos Tuma, bit of an unexpected award for him today? Unexpected? Slightly unexpected, do you think? Um, maybe if you've watched him for the last few weeks. But yeah, yeah Eranos Tuma is in the PFA League One team of the year. Mm -hmm. um, real honour for Oz Tuma. It's actually back to back years he's been in this team. And it is an award voted for by your fellow professionals. Um, personally, I do think he does deserve to be in the team. He has had an outstanding season. He's on 16 goals for the campaign, which, soon as though he plays as a number 10, really, he has flirted up front and dropped back into midfield as mm. well. Wow, but 16 goals in, let's be honest, what has been a struggle inside. It is a really, really impressive tally for us, Tuma. He has dipped the last couple of weeks, there's no doubt about mm -hmm. that. Some Walsall fans are, have actually started to question his commitment to the cause because we do all expect him to move on at mm -hmm. the end of the season, of course. I don't believe that. I do believe he is fully committed to the cause. There is, I think he's had a dip in form. I thought you were going to say you don't believe he's, you think he's going to stay. Oh, no, he's, he's, gone, oh, he's, gone, he's, gone, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. We'd all love him to stay, but yeah, we're being yeah. realistic. We all expect him to go. But I think. Yeah, in terms of his recent performances, mm -hmm. I do think it's a dip in confidence. I do think that's where that, that is, his form's just off. But he will really hope that he can go out of a bang now. And that's yeah. what Walsall need. Four huge games left, obviously. Right in the scrap of it in relegation, they're fighting for their lives. Mm -hmm. So, fingers crossed, this award will just help boost Erhan a little bit and remind him what a good player he is, really. And he yeah. can go on in, in the next four games, be that creative spark that Walsall have been missing. Yeah, they're going to have to have some big performances between now and the end of the season. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, latest on, on injury news? Some good news today. I went to Essington this morning to speak to Dean Keats and John Guthrie um, ahead of the game against Scunford. There'll be more than that in Express and Stone to come in days but some good news is Jack Fitzwater looks like he is fit for the weekend had such a good loan spell from Albion he of course went off against Wimbledon and the weekend and then they conceded two goals um, you wonder if either of them would have happened really if Fitzwater had been on the pitch he's such an important player he has done so well since he's come in from loan so that on loan so that really is a huge boost ahead mm -hmm. of what is another massive game at the weekend yeah fingers crossed three points on Saturday for the build-up on this one make sure you log on to expressandstar.com